Hi, I'm Rob Gove from Squire's Kitchen in Farnham. I'm going to show you a simple dessert recipe that you can do at home. I'm going to show you how to make a, a simple cake, a hummingbird cake, which is flavoured with ripe banana, sweet pineapple, and then it's spiced with vanilla and cinnamon. Um, the ingredients we have here is some plain flour on this one, sugar, eggs, bicarbonate of soda, a little bit of salt, and oil is the fat that goes into it, sunflower oil. Now, the first thing to do is to take your ripe bananas, you can see this is a very ripe banana, and peel them, chop them up, and put all the banana into your food processor. If you haven't got a food processor, you can just mash the banana up and chop the pineapple up and mash that through as well. So we'll take the pineapple and again, chop it up into the blender. And and pulse it up. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be a completely smooth puree because if it's not, it's gonna have a little bit of texture and you're gonna see that in the cake and I like that kind of thing. The next step is to take your dry ingredients and pass them through a sieve. Into your mixing bowl. Again, if you don't have an electric mixer, all of these steps can be completed by hand. So the flour goes in and the sugar. Okay, and then we're gonna put our salt, bicarbonate of soda, and finally cinnamon. All goes into the mixer. We'll take our vanilla pod. With vanilla pods, the softer they are, the squishier they are, the more scent you get off them, the better they are. Split it open. And then scrape out the seeds from the inside. Take these seeds and push them into your cake mix. Okay. Then we take our pureed banana and pineapple and mix this into the dry ingredients. Once all the components are ready on this one, it's a really easy cake to put together. Crack in your eggs. So crack in your eggs, and they're all in, and then Fix the paddle into your machine and again start it on a low speed. And very quickly the ingredients will come together. Keep mixing it and then slowly pour in your sunflower oil. So it's dead easy to make. Okay, this mix is enough to make two loaf tins like this, or you could make a round cake if you wanted to as well. Um, just with strips of uh, baking parchment, just line your tin in a crisscross, so you know that it's gonna be easy to pull it out when the cake's cooked. And then you can just pour your mix in. Don't want to fill it up too much, leaving room for the cake to rise. That's it. And then they're ready to go into an oven at 170 degrees for about an hour, hour and 20 minutes, depending on the oven. So our hummingbird cake has come out of the oven and it's been checked and it's cooked all the way through. The knife came out and it was clean. So we're just going to lift them out and 
So we've lifted them out. Just take the baking paper off. Okay. And then they'll cool down and they'll be ready to serve in about an hour or two. Okay, so the hummingbird cake has cooled down and we can slice it now. And this would make a lovely addition to an afternoon tea party. Mm -hmm.